if you want to finish your hawk and rifle the old school way with a plum brown then stay tuned Hey guys, Nate Bailey from the Life Outdoors and Bear Bow Hunter, and we're continuing building our Hawk and St. Louis Hawk and Rifle from Three Rivers Archery. If you guys want to build along, I'll put a link up here. Today's video, we're going to show you how to brown the barrel, like the antique uh, browning of barrels. This that was the first style of bluing that was done back in the old days. They would brown the barrels rather than blue them. Now, bluing and browning are about the same thing. Um, blue is just a different oxide that gives off when the barrel actually rusts. And a browning, we're just rusting the barrel. Um, back in the old school days, it would take uh, a whole week to get a barrel browned. And what they would do is they'd take the barrel, they would take the barrel, they'd, they'd put salt water all over it, and then they would hang it and they would hang it in a real humid place and they'd let it sit there and brown. Then you'd take and buff it down and then uh, put some more salt water on it and then hang it in a humid place again. And it would take for quite a while and then you'd rub it down with oil after you're, you got it to the brown that you wanted. This brown, I, I browned it to the point where um, it's wearing on the edges. I just like the look of it and it looks old school. I like this style of browning. Um, I'm going to brown every, every piece on here except for the trigger and the lock. Um, I'm going to brown all the steel. And then on the brass part, and I'll show you how we're doing that. Let me get this guy back together. I don't have Tang put in yet, but on the brass, I'm going to uh, go and blacken that and make it look old too. So you blacken it with a um, Birchwood Casey black brass, and then uh, it will look old too. I really butchered this rifle. When I started putting videos out, for one, the first thing I did is I spelled the name wrong. So I want to correct that in this video. Um, Hawken is H-A-W-K-E-N, and it's named after um, the Hawken brothers. This rifle came out from the Hawken brothers. Now they were in St. Louis, Missouri, and the Hawken rifle was very expensive. It wasn't, it wasn't your cheap average everyday rifle. Um, the average rifle was $12, and some of them, uh, they found receipts up to $25, $30 for a Hawken rifle. Um, a lot of the iconic Western guys that you've heard of um, had a Hawken rifle, but uh, some of the history tells us that some of them didn't buy it until after they became famous, So, and they came back out of the West. So I'm not sure how many of them were carried. Um, I just do know that this was an iconic rifle, and there's so many Hawkins out now that uh, um, we think that this was the only rifle that was carried in the West, but this is probably one of the premium rifles that was carried in the West. Now, the reason that it was something that was carried in the West, and it was made in St. Louis, which was the place, taking off place of most of the places, you know, people taken off, but it was, it's, um, it's a heavier caliber. This is a 50 cal. Um, most of them were 50 cals up to 65 caliber and which was something that you needed out in the west right so the elk and the bears and the buffalo uh, bison um, all needed a bigger caliber rifle so that is kind of what why i'm building this we're going to go jerry's coming down we're going to um we are going to bear hunt with our rifles this year with our muzzle loading rifles so i only have a month to get this thing start uh done so follow along you guys this um, next video that you'll see, this next set of videos that you see, will I'm going to show you how to apply the brown finish on your Hawken rifle or any any rifle for that matter. You can do this on a regular uh, rifle rifle. So, but um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Birchwood Casey's Plum Brown. 
Okay, so there we go. We got the barrel all ready to go. It is um, been polished. I did it with uh, Scotch Bright. I have a plug in the end, and then that plug goes into this piece of pipe right here. That way, I can turn it um, while I'm applying the finish. So I don't want to touch this because I don't want the oil on my hands. But you guys can see that I could turn that. And the reason I don't have it just sitting on the piece of all thread, and I plugged it with is because I don't want any of the solution getting down in the barrel. This is a rusting solution. All bluing's rusting, so you don't want to rust that barrel at all. So uh, along with that, I didn't want to rust any of the screw heads. So I got all the screw heads put, um, if you look, all the screw heads are, are in the holes there, so we don't want to rust any of those threads. And then, um, and then I just went through. Now the dovetails, we'll, we'll just, uh, clean them out the best we can and then put you know our sights in there and then um, the barrel tang and all that stuff in there so there we go we're gonna start the process now what we're using is plum brown and this is a browning uh, browning way of, of uh, preserving it and it's the old-school way so this was done before bluing and um, so we're gonna do it that way I like the look of it and we'll show you how that works. So this is a hot method, so we have to heat it up 250 degrees. So we heat it to 250 until it sizzles water. So I got water out here to throw on it. I don't want to spit on it because that'll induce some stuff into the, so I'll throw water on it and I'll know when it's sizzling. And once we do that, then we just wipe it on until it quits sizzling and then uh, let it rust, repeat the process and until you get that deep brown finish so the big thing is just making sure right now is making sure and we're going to do it with a, a silent torch is making sure that everything is warm the whole thing is warm and it's pretty easy you know you get a big chunk of metal like this it distributes heat pretty well so. to a real nice brown um, kind of that uh, oh what is that an orange kind of rust um, and so now I have to pull it off it's it's cool enough to touch now I'm going to pull it off and I have to buff it out again and I'm going to do a couple more coats of this but you guys sat there and watched how this worked and just it this is the old school way of doing these old muzzle loaders. You could do that with the plum brown. Uh, Three Rivers will have the plum brown. So this kit came from Three Rivers. They're gonna carry the plum brown as well. And uh, so you could get it from them. Works really good. Just gotta make sure you get your barrel warm. Okay, so we got it cleaned back down. I'm gonna keep these, see where the wear marks are on the finish. I wanna keep that in there. You notice I took some of this down, uh, went down a lot further than I wanted to, but it's it's going on there a little bit more uneven. Um, that's why you do multiple co coats because that all just cut, catches back up, but you wanna make sure that you have it evened up. So we've taken it down. We're gonna heat it back up and put another coat on her. And we'll probably do two or three of these.
Okay, so we got that beautiful brown on there. Um, it needs to be gone over again with, they say steel wool and stuff, and I'll, um, I'll hit it with some steel wool here now. I'm not gonna hit it with the Brillo pads anymore. Um, I'll probably hit it with the green Brillo pad as soon as it dries. So um, we'll let it dry. Some of the spots you'll see, there's still some spots in here that kind of got some, um, a little bit more of that pitted looking rust and I'll get those off of there, um, like right in here. And I'll get that off of there with the heavier stuff. But I'll do one more coat after this, but it's that's, that's the color I want right there, is that brown. It's a pretty color. Okay, so I got it. Um, that's as far as I'm gonna take it. I could, if you really want it real, real deep, deep brown, um, you could go, you could you could go just a little bit further um, and do a few more coats. I know guys that do a lot. I personally want it to look um, really antiqueish and like you know it's partially wearing and and that that's the look I was after. I'm gonna keep it here. I'm not gonna go any further with it. Um, now I'm going to oil it and once you oil it, it'll set all that in. So you wash it and oil it and it'll set it all, set it all in. But that's exactly what I was after. All right, guys, now that you saw how we do the, the barrel, stay tuned. Um, and I'm going to start shaping the wood. And, uh, once I get the wood shaped, then I will do all the brass and then we'll be ready to shoot this guy. All right, stay tuned. Hey, if you guys like this stuff, please subscribe. Thank you.